Uh, Doc, Doc, how is the fact that there is still a uh, provisional secretary of health, health right now as we speak and there's no uh, appointment yet for a permanent health secretary? How is that affecting uh, our COVID management at the moment and in general our health situation? It's a big factor, uh, Luci, no? because uh, yun nga lang, yung sa mga procurement na itong mga bakuna under UA, yung mga processing of other uh, mga uh, kailangan natin ngayon, uh, there are provisions na I think there should be, there are more, uh, what they call this, responsibility na magagawa ang SOH over that of an OIC. So I think... Uh, mas maganda pa rin na makakuha na ng OI, uh, SOH ngayon para naman uh, ma-polish ma, ma na natin itong mga procurement and all the other provisions na kailangan ng di Department of Health. Pero ang pinaka-importante dito, what direction will the government be in terms of the health uh, ng, ng bansa natin? And we will only know that if we have an SOH because uh, the responsibility there, the function will really be different when you have an SOH over that of an OIC. There are pharmaceutical companies that are so sensitive about yung sinong pipirma, no? O sinong hindi pipirma. Because, eh, alam mo naman yung mga legalities on that, no? So, uh, uh, I am not just so sure how, how, how accurate is this, but pero, Nakikita ko rin yan. May mga hesitations sa mga pharma companies to do that if you are just an OIC compared to an SOH.